playing that Lucian in the mid lane to try and attack this rise and really claim some uh, some mid lane priority. I really like that because KT were going to have bot side prio um, guaranteed with Caitlyn Lux. It's just kind of what you buy into. That he hasn't really been picking up what has been the kind of go-to blind pick on blue side here for the top side of the map. He did win that game and is now looking for an aggressive trade, but yeah, exciting to see him play this Gragas yet again. Yeah, nice binding there, connects onto Ice. He's actually going to commit the cleanse to this one. Piercing Darkness comes on through. He's going to be all right. As, uh, yeah, that's the flash, and that is another solo kill for Rascal. Okay, yeah, no, struggling there towards the top side <laughs> of the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, struggling, yep. He's down 6 CS, though. So this was where we left it. As Rascal, not a lot of mana. So maybe that's why Dove felt like things were going to be okay, but no. As a drink, and that is one very, very scary sports fan. Buffered the body slam there with a flash Whoa. so well. Ice also flashed, heal down for Kale as well. So some shenanigans happen, and KT have zero summoners left. Uh, that says Chovy on the W. I thought it was Showmaker, that's what I saw earlier, so. Yeah, weird. Uh, okay, never mind. Light Binding's fantastic here, though, and Ice just one auto, and he is going to die. Life picks that one up with the passive, I believe. And uh, yeah, things going fantastically. Both sides of the rift here for KT. Good sidestep there from Kale, but honestly, the damage has been done, and these minions underneath the turret. I mean, aiming is like, yeah, if, while you guys are just thinking about it, um, let me just go ahead and start working on my first plate up here. Yeah. Thank you for having a little bit of a weaker lane up here, Rascal, even though you got the solo kill, so I got all plates available. Because um, <laughs> I'm looking for the maximum up here in this game. Look at how much damage he does to ice at this stage with just one auto here. Yeah, this is 1v2, just taking plates. Of course, life in the area is now Aria and Closer fighting this one out. Level 9 for both of these mid laners as Rascal turns up. There's the flash. Flash body slam comes in as well as Rascal finds the slam dunk. Pick up the kill on the Lucian. Cuz moves on over. Croco is going to be able to escape, but that is three kills and three lanes. Yeah, That's another one. 11 is plates. that 11? He has oh 11 my plates. God. And he's not that far off of getting a 12th one here. That might actually that, be a record. That's it, yeah. That yeah. might actually be a record of, of plates taken <laughs> in the LCK. He has gotten the maximum amount of plates you could pretty much get. Wow. His, uh, the amount of money this guy has is just absurd. Like, don't forget, he started cold. <laughs> uh, that's a flash from Rascal. Body slams, and that pillar is not really going to work out. The subjugate's there, though, and the piercing light will come through to take down the Gragas. Now, do I survive? Or live sandbox. Well, that is kind I of the question so. here. I don't think so. Because Ryze is coming up. Arya's got Realm Warp. Do they actually get out of here? That is the real question. Teleport coming through. Looks like the answer is going to be definitely N-O. Oh, they're even going to commit their own teleport. Let's see how this one yep. goes, Liv. Sandbox. Uh, diving on forward. The heroic charge not quite going to get too much as there is the ulti to come through from the center. But Arya grabs his revenge. Hey! But still, life is going to go down. So that is a one for one in the end. Nicely done there. Um, it's not It's not a good start here. And the Senna doesn't have any items, obviously. She's... Oh, uh, yep, Croco is having some trouble here, he will but out, has like. a bunch of friends, so yeah, he is going to be able to escape. That is aggressive from Kale, as uh, life is just going to get culled. That's a back massage that really hurt, as now the rest of KT are moving down. But looks like Liv Sandbox should be able to get out, although the, t the Toad struggling for now. Can Kuz actually catch up to him? The ulti says absolutely yes, and he is going to get taken down. That is a kill for aiming. Picks that one up as Arya moves on in, grabs himself a stun onto Croco, and oh no, Closer not actually able to stop the ace in the hole. And now aiming is caught up to him as well. Gale forces forward, and there's the flash, couple of autos, and he grabs himself a triple kill. Aiming, just demonstrating how ridiculously busted Caitlyn is right I now. I mean, good luck. Yep, life, mo uh, sorry, aiming, moving on in. Dove is off on the side, so does have a decent flank angle, as there's the culling. Cuz gonna tank a lot of it here, as there it is, the Dawning Shadow flies on forward as they're dealing with Dove in the back line. He does a lot of damage. Aria having to escape, final spark, not quite doing enough here as Dove does get out. That is going to be the Drake stolen away there and Liv Sandbox trying to get away with this heist. We'll see whether they're actually able to as there's the ace in the hole. This time Closer manages to block it, but they're not out of the woods just yet. The back is coming in from Kale. As, yeah, life looks for the binding, but as you can see, Closer is, yeah, that was opportunistic, yeah, but I was, liked it. I mean, that was kind of absurd. Uh, <laughs> he went back there, but he does get caught. 
Still available here in this mid lane, as well as on the bottom side of the map as well. <laughs> Total and, damage uh, to yeah, turrets! That's a lot of damage to turrets. Oh, well, I mean, they, oh no one else, everyone God. else just served him the turrets. Like, they were like, please take off the plates. Like, I'm not interested. I'm going to let you This take looks like an unfinished graph. The ice here is that he can't even farm his souls. Like, he actually is not safe enough to get those souls to get his range online. Like, the gold that he needs Oh, yeah, we might actually issue. need to look at some uh, some center watch as far as where those stacks are. Because, yeah, he can't he can't actually farm those, and he's not able to really poke as well as he would like to at 25 minutes in the game normally as Senna. Yeah. Uh, because it's just not safe to do so, and there's no turrets to fall back on. Oh, KT, they're looking for the turn. Shield to come through there uh, from life as uh, they keep it leashed. KT, like, what the heck are you guys doing? The ulti comes through from Kaz, and it looks like he'll be able to grab this one. As Croco's not even in the pit, it's a good smite as Arya is keeping them busy. The cast comes through, he flashes over the wall. Arya stays alive. They take down the frog, and Dove is. Yeah, he's going to avoid the body slam there as Rascal's a little bit overexcited. But they will win the fight, grab the Baron, grab everything else. They got a Drake earlier on before. KT have got it all. Yeah, Heading towards this inhibitor. Five members of Live Sandbox are here, so they can get a man advantage, but aiming, as soon as he moves forward and gets a couple of autos, someone dies. That is just how it is going to work. As Ari's in the mid lane, they have to be a little bit careful here as Dove is going to engage. Cuz just says, absolutely not. Not on my watch, my friend is aiming. Dashes forward, Closer has to flash to get out of the way. That Peacemaker was fantastic as well from aiming to just soften up the members of Live Sandbox. And they take down this inhibitor, but they're looking for more. That's a brilliant cast to deny the Devourer. And aiming is now on an absolute rampage through the base of Live Sandbox. They're all on the fountain, but this game is absolutely done. Yeah, definitely is as they just walk forward and auto it. Live Soundbox really lost control of this one in the draft. And we talked about how flexible KT can be in draft, but this is not what I meant. I didn't mean just getting <laughs> absolutely bopped in a bad bot lane. Yeah, well, Roscoe's going to have to flash out of the way of this one. As you can see, KT pretty happy to grab themselves some kills on this fountain, but the Nexus is going to fall down. We can definitely see a reset here is 31,000. Not bad. And not look a, at how linear one. that gold graph is. If you're a coach backstage, by the way, you see a gold graph like this, you're clapping. You're clapping when you walk into the room because this was clean. KT. This is a this is a pretty cool cannon angle. I, I'm right. kind of into it. In a defensive way, I do like it a lot. As Live Sandbox do have to approach you with their Olaf, their Akali. But they do have a lot of poke, and that means that if Cannon gets spotted on his flanks and takes a bunch of damage before he can actually enter um, the fight, you know, go ahead and use his belt and go in for the ultimate. It felt like it, uh, like, like it had to be picked, right? Like, tier list states that Corky is just so powerful right now. And uh, he absolutely is, right? Uh, especially with this skin. Um, yeah, could certainly be. I think that Rascal will, you know, have a lot of control for, you know, the vast majority of the early laning phase and then probably just tries to avoid Dove, I guess, um, as the game goes on and then focuses on those team fights. And Rascal is historically a fantastic uh, cannon player just in general. Because here, unseen. Yeah, and you can see Liv Sandbox is getting a bit antsy. They can see that our aiming is uh, getting relatively low. You're going to be used there from Ice, going through his bullets here just a little bit. And in goes Kuz now. There's a flash face breaker. Just amazing from life as he runs himself out of the way. They manage to get the kill onto the Thresh with the Ignite as Ice is able to escape. But it is not without a lot of rewards for KT. Just like it basically wipes out half of his uh, mana bar, which is really good news for the LeBlanc. Not to mention it's on a pretty long cooldown, so he's very vulnerable as Croco yep. here. That's another face breaker that comes in, grabbing him, doing some work though, as you're exactly right. Croco in a great position. Ice does sorry, life is able to keep himself alive with a haymaker. And walks his way out. So aiming, having to use the heal that time around, but unable to get the kills here. And so Lip Sandbox find themselves a much better angle this time. There's the flash, actually, is that's a great hook. From Kale, Triple Flay comes in as well as another face breaker is good. Kale's gonna die in aiming. Gets excited as a result. And now Croco's looking for it, but they trade back. It's a double kill. It's three and one for this set. 100% kill contribution, both sides of the map. You love to see it. Play so KT, probably not gonna look at too much as Croco's roaming down. The hook is gonna go wide though as aiming would just continue to walk up. Face breaker is good as life, trying to keep them busy. 
as Aiming will get taken down. Now, Life is uh, running him around the map just a little bit here. Has a Blast Cone if you'd like to, and uh, knows that Kale's not going to be able to flash after him. Proto Belt is going to give you, or Rocket Belt as it's called now, will give you a little bit more extended range on that. Dash Annie. Um, yeah, yeah the, other, the other variation. Yes, indeed. As uh, Rascal, yep. Does find Dove here as the minions do get a bit mad, as that is a beautiful flash heroic charge. And Dove trying to run this one out does uh, manage to ulti out though. So uh, slightly unfortunate there for Kaz and Rascal, who did have to invest basically everything to get that one to work. And then it didn't. Super Mega Death Rocket, let's see whether that one's going to connect as well. It's a gets the kill aiming from downtown, channeling some prey with some cross mapping. It was calculated they wanted to give the money to the Jinx. Meanwhile, there's a rocket coming. And he watches. He's like, yeah, it's about there. Not Let's even just see. Oh, yeah, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Got him. Got <laughs> him. <laughs> 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 nice, I'm moving, I'm moving. I just want to give aiming as much gold as possible because he did have a little bit of a. I don't want to say he's he had a rough start, but he's behind here. Well, that's a fantastic Gale Force. Paid for itself right there. But the chain is going to come through, and Ice is going to get locked down. Does have the cleanse. Cuz looking for it, but he's overextended. And now needs to run away, but the play says absolutely not. The rest of uh, KT just focus on the turret. They understand that Cuz has just gone way too deep. Yeah, and... Oh, Rascal. This is so dangerous, but Cuz doesn't find the wall there. Steadfast Presence is good, though. And Superflex into the back line does a lot of work. The Poppy goes down, but they've dealt with the Corky life is going to be taken down as well though, and now Croco's running away with it, and Ice is so scary, he'll get rid of the cannon, and KT just going a bit too far again. Right. Five point strike, slowing him down for a moment, but uh, he will be able to escape. This was actually really well played by KT, finally Arya puts a big dent in the Corky's health pool, yeah. and he does it again here, so Rascal has some breathing room. Well, Dove now looking for it, knows that he doesn't have an ult, as the perfect execution is going to be there, and Rascal just nowhere to go. And gets queued to the face. That is going to be a solo kill against the solo killer in, and in this upcoming Baron fight. So that's the that's the win. Yep. Well, Cuz dashing on forward, looking for Dove. Good chain connect here from Aria. Finds the second one as well. Super Mega Death Rocket will say goodnight to Dove. So makes a great play and then throws his life away, and that will give KT a massive inroad for this Baron. And this game and may have just turned on its head. Yep. Croco, can he actually get through here? Does have flash available? As KT are melting this one down. Good zap, and they avoid closer as well. Aria dashes forward. Great ult from Kuz. Says goodbye poke damage and hello, Baron. They grab the buff. Level 16 for both Aiming and Aria flash. and Rascal as there's a flash forward from Live. And Closer has to take the package away. The play comes through as Aria is going to connect another chain. This guy's LeBlanc is just ridiculous today. And Life just picks him up and uses the Thresh as a taxi as they're chasing down Liv Sandbox. Moonlight Vigil, though, Ice able to do some damage here as Rascal finds the flank, flashes in. Ripmaker giving him some of that health back, as you can see. As now Closer tries to run away from Aria, who is hungry for revenge, and he'll pick it up. Now just slide this one in to... Well, Dove off to the side. Doesn't have to backflip away from Aria, and Closer does land a few of these hooks. Super Mega Death Rocket comes in, and Life finds the flank. In goes Cuz into the back line and locks down that kill eventually, but now Dove does manage to get some backflips here, trying to keep Ice alive. He's so important, as now Croco's fighting with Aria. He's completely disconnected from his team, and all five members of KT are now able to start off this Baron. The Olaf nowhere in sight. Rascal's positioning is so good, though. You can't really fight this as Liv Sandbox because there's a Flash Cannon who's got ult available right on yeah. the edge. They got a split. They do, as that is a Hex Flash to get Cuz out of there as Arya dashing forward. Moonlight Vigil lands onto five instantly. Three blow up. And Rascal now has to try and get this work done by himself. Aiming, now trying to heal up as well off this Brambleback. But the Baron will be taken by Croco. And they manage to get some extra gold for it as well as Rascal dives on in. Kale gets himself out of there though. And almost it works out. Super Mega Death Rock at that time does not land. And yet... <laughs> yeah, die, 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 die. <laughs> <laughs> She actually looks for the Baron. Well, Dove looking for aiming here is, uh, okay, we're going to try and block these dashes. That is going to be the GA now popped, and Cuz is just destroyed. Nowhere for aiming to go, and Liv Sandbox 
picking up two stragglers here on KT's side and no one could do anything about it. Rascal does have his ultimate, no flash available, no dash cannon either, and this is base broken. Inhibitor taken down, and the first inhib will belong to Live Sandbox. Game two, definitely a real game of League of Legends compared to our first one. We, yeah. got, a lot, we got a lot in this one, 24 kills across. Now you can see life on the back end, but Arya just nothing he can do. Closer takes down that one. As looks like this Nexus is not long for the world as Rascal's just trying to take them on a bit of a goose chase here. Uses his onions, but he's not going to be able to do enough damage here. Moonlight Vigil sails by majestically, and that will be Liv Sandbox tying up the series. We will be going to a deciding game, and Life's set's win rate will now take a bit of a battering. Most damaged with this Riftmaker build, <laughs> but a lot of those ults you see for Rascal, he's like, Hitting half of everybody's health bar and the team fight is over when he's doing it because he got in and ulted after the fight was over. So yeah, it does a lot of damage, but. Is going in, right? Live Sandbox, their composition is just gonna be dive, dive, dive. And then Ice just will need to, uh, you know, survive the situation, but thing that I'm really interested in is this Rek'Sai, and Kuz has been yeah. playing it a little bit uh, in solo queue. Um, of course, when Kuz debuted, I'm going to take you on a little bit of a trip down memory lane, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this Fiora is going to go. I think that uh, she's a really fun uh, champion to watch, but also I think eyes need to be glued to that mid lane. Uh, closer taking on Arya's Twisted Fate, as you mentioned already. I mean, Arya, fantastic Twisted Fate player, but uh, Closer's Aurelia... There's so much long range engage, and the gold card setup is so amazing if you don't have vision. Uh, and neither of these champions have amazing, uh, you know, ability to turn a fight. Oh, Rascal gets Ooh. the Q to connect, and that is just going to be it. The solo kill onto the Fiora. Rascal's Lee Sin never disappoints. What is that, eight now? Yeah, and he's able to do it against the Flash as well. Yeah. This Bot lane is going very well for aiming a life early on. Yeah, as Croco makes his way down bottom lane, life has to flash. There's the flash in. Moonfall's brilliant as aiming. Has to flash to get himself out every summoner, but the fish still goes down. In the nice. mid lane. Yep, Cuz looking for that knockup. There's the flash. Flawless Duet comes in as Cuz is going to miss the knockup. Still a fair bit of damage, but the Queen's Wrath comes out, and that will be able to trade it one for one. Rek'Sai getting a kill, definitely good news, but uh, Arya not quite able to uh, help him survive that situation as there was too much help. I think you're very happy with this as Liv Sandbox because now you have complete control over the bottom lane where again, Lucian Lamy is trying to push this wave so hard. Well, here on the top side of the map, oh man, Rascal is so clean. I mean, yes, I mean, that's a pretty set play from the Lee Sin, but it is just great to watch every time. Fortunately for Liv Sandbox, their defensive play on the top side, predicting what Puzz was gonna do. Doesn't work out because of that Tremor Sense. Yeah, there's the flash forward, Moonfall comes down again as Cuz is just dead. Yes, there was a cool tidal wave, but that did not really matter. It is going to be still two drakes, I guess, as the grand challenge is once again issued. As this gold card put up there and dubbed, not actually having to use the flash, but doesn't have the ult now. Rascal has his. As Kale not going to find the uh, the Zenith blade, unfortunately for him, but still going to be absolutely a okay. Uh, everything is going pretty swimmingly right now on the other side because yes, Ezreal's 20 CS down, but eventually you're going to be way more valuable than that. Well, there's the knockup onto Koza. Arya gets on in there, good exhaust onto Crocker to try and avoid death, but Kuz is just dead one more time. Rascal turned up, but he's immediately going to have to get out, and that is now two kills for the Aurelia. And if you're a KT fan, that is not what you want to see. No, it's definitely not as aiming is going to get a little bit of extra gold here on the turret, but the longevity of the gold is not there. As Rasso looks for a play. Yeah, that is uh, going to be Gore Drinker doing some work. As the Q connects, what? One versus three? That's Rascal, best top player in the LCK. Not so excited about his cannon so far today, but otherwise <laughs> looking very He's good. Just trying to clean up the mess. Yeah, as we watch this kick late. play. Oh, the double. And he's under turret there, so they just go in, grab that extra execute damage on the Q. A bit of disrespect from uh, right there. From so aiming's longevity in this game is very low. I mean, lower than Illusion even normally would be as an AD carry, part of why he's not played as one. Ooh, that's a great Zenith play to come through there as Aiming is going to use that cleanse, get himself out of the way. Is now the dash over and immediately has to flash. Croco just comes out of nowhere 
And you can see the Terra in aiming. Even finds the Moonfall in the back line. Fantastic stuff. That's the gold card that is going to connect as, okay, Cuz doesn't quite find the ulti damage, but will eventually just bite down on the Diana and grab that kill. Rascal just deals with the other three. And KT do walk away with a uh, trade of one for two. So they'll be happy about that. Yep. Rascal's looking for more here. Yeah, diving onto closer here as the challenge is issued. Safeguard now on cooldown, and that is going to be the kick reposted. And Rascal finally punished. Finally. But I want to see the player camps here because I, I just want to see like how the rest of KT is still moving around the map. Like how are the how are the champions moving when literally Rascal's already picked them up, strapped them to his back. <laughs> As Rascal coming. really wants to make this play happen, but the repost is so good here on the kick attempt. Yeah, and it's a, it's pretty uh, optimistic. Like normally he'd be waiting um, for the uh, the repost before he even goes for anything like that, but found himself in a desperate scenario. His dub's dead. I assume it was Rascal. Yeah, I think so. Look, he's got a five. Like that's nine. That's nine solo kills. He's like uh, against his lane opponent. He just puts five. his palm out and asks Hirai to stand on it. He's like, <laughs> 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 he's like, please. You're running out of analogies. <laughs> oh god. Like how much can he carry? <laughs> <laughs> this many, and he just indicates to everything. Uh, as Dub oh, just gets caught back. Alcove gaming. Yeah, doesn't even get the blast going to help him out. Rascal takes it with him, safeguards for the chase. Flash kick, Q, execute, bam. Gets one more auto to, to uh, put her out of her misery there. And Rascal, five kills in this game, but is just, he's still at least in. That's the problem. He can kill people on the side lane. He can catch somebody when live sandbox are overextended. Uh, uh, what? Uh, Ice and Kale are also dead. We're in replay hell. Yeah, we are absolutely in replay hell. We, <laughs> can we get back to the correct timeline? I, I don't know where we are. T oh my god. Okay, well, we might catch this one live as now Dove. Uh, once again, dealing with Rascal. Croco coming down. And I mean, Croco is the actual danger zone as he could probably get that He's up. like not sure, he's like, I don't know, can I do this? Yeah, trying to catch him backing here is Moonfall, not gonna quite do enough damage. And now the teleport gonna be invested as well. The Q is going to miss, safeguard. Now can Rascal actually do the great escape? He's going to, the answer is absolutely not. Unfortunately, grabs it. unfortunately for their composition, there's no one, all right, hold on, let's watch how this happens. Okay, oh well. God, okay. Big damage there. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've got the Twisted Fate to lock down. It looked like Aiming was charging that up at the beginning. He's like, okay, and go. This game is still open. Well, Aiming gonna have to get underneath this turret. He's not very safe though. As you can see, Closer having to chill under there for quite a while. Jevity. It's a, it's a, you know, tempo-based comp. They're running with the Lucian, you know, the Twisted Fate. You had to have a way bigger lead than they technically still have in gold, but this is not an advantage for KT, make no mistake. Whoa! Ice just did, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of damage. He's, he's untouchable too, like who can get on top of him? Nobody. He gets gold card and he's like, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, Arcane Shift, that is going to be aiming. Throwing down the back massage. It's not going to be a lot of work done there by Croco, but does manage to use the Zonyas in time. Rascal looking for the backline opportunities. He does get the kick back, but Vanguard's edge is just a little bit too good. Rascal gets into the backline. Is the grand challenge going to work out? And the answer is absolutely yes. And Cuz is like, where did my team go? And then he joins them in the death chamber. And this is where I was saying, like, you can play it slow, but then eventually the Baron will catch up with you. They'll look for another inhibitor. And you're just hoping as KT that Live Sandbox make a huge mistake or somebody goes too far out into the jungle, you get a pick, and then maybe you win a 5v4 team fight because that's your only win condition. And Rascal's like, please, just give me that chance. Give me that opportunity. But the Live Sandbox said, no, I'm going to get Baron. I'm going to group up as five, and I'm going to push all the way to your Nexus. That's the idea. Yep. Uh, Trisha Barrage is just going to take an entire champion's health bar off of the bottom lane of KT. And uh, aiming in life is just being kept in check right now. The culling. Yeah, we make that uh, massage joke a lot, but I mean, that's all it really is starting to look like here from this uh, KT-80 carry. Uh, so, yep, Q connects, and so Aiming's like, well, I'm not going any further forward, and it looks like Liv Sandbox just want to take this all the way down the top lane as Croco gets exhausted, does go golden in the end. It's a great tidal wave to try and get that CC, and now Croco will be taken down, but now Closer gets into the back line. Not going to be able to jump onto the fountain, though as that is a couple of kills going down. Cuz and Ari are both dead, but Rascal's still alive and aiming is still doing damage, but the challenge has been issued. 
and Rascal will go down, and then aiming eventually does fall. Closes Aurelia. This stage of the game, so dangerous, and lives Sandbox. They lose game one so quickly, and then come back with a vengeance. Um, you know, aiming actually doing a bit more than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. But uh, this game was about Closer finding the right angles. Aria was largely invisible that game, unfortunately. A uh, little bit of a shame. Managed to make his way top lane and really help reassert the dominance that uh, Rascal had already put in place. Um, Thank you very much, guys. This is Season for the Interpret Translation, joined by Ice and Closer from Leave Sandbox. Congratulations. Ice, the three match losing streak has come to an end, and this is your first POG here in the LCK, and also first win for you in the LCK as well. How are you feeling? It didn't take that long, to be honest, but I'm happy that we're able to end our losing streak. How is performing on the LCK stage? You know, I was pretty nervous in the beginning, but now I just have the eager to become better. What about having an interview on stage? <laughs> A little bit uncomfortable yet. I will help you to feel a lot comfortable on stage interviews as well. And Closer, this is your first POG interview of the year as well. Somehow, we got the win, so it feels great. Yeah, it's been a very long while. How do you feel about, you know, having an interview in front of the live audience? Yeah, I'm so happy to see them here. And also, it feels even better to play on stage as well, thanks to all the fans here in the arena. Game number one. Even though um, you guys did drop the first game, I want to ask you about the bottom lane comp. You know, Caitlyn Lox was actually let through to the hands of the opponent, and you guys decided to send out Tom Kench. I mean, we didn't really practice that much, but we just wanted to give it a go. Then why? Uh, we just wanted to focus on the top side, you know, we just wanted to play around the top lane. So we just wanted to just hold on on the bottom lane, but it didn't really work well. So, and then you guys first picked Aphelios in game two. What happened during the feedback? I actually was, I actually was pretty vocal during the feedback. I kind of told them I want to play different champion. And we did have some hyper carry moment with your ult around the Baron fight. Was that the moment you realized that you'll be closing out the game? Poppy was super low, so I just like trying to go use my ult and then somehow I got triple kills. He just used the ult, said Ice. What the other teammates say? We were like, just wow, that's crazy. Just using the ult will be the tip from Ice with it. Aphelius ult in game three. We had four AD carry bends from Leaf Sandbox. Was that in order to shut aiming down? As long as we can keep balance down on the bottom lane, we were sure that we will be able to, you know, have a better game and get the victory. And we had a very interesting pick and ban in game three. TF was let through, and then you guys countered it with Irelia, a champion that you're so famous on. I mean, I just wanted to play aggressively, you know, we really had to just, just send it, you know. I've never practiced it, but I got the feeling this is the right time for Irelia. Was that then, was the Twisted Fate a bait for Irelia? Yes, of course. It was all set up. And then we did see the reason why you guys set up for that matchup on the mid lane. And Closer, are you confident in the champion like any time? Do you think you're the best Irelia player in the LCK? Yes, pretty much, you know, I can just play that champion any time and I'm very confident in Irelia. And then we also saw Rek'Sai after about a year. Did you see that coming? Nope, to be honest. But Huz is really good at Rek'Sai. So I did, you know, feel the pressure and I was pretty surprised to see that locked in. Then how did this, uh, what was the plan playing against Rek'Sai? So that champion has really strong gank power, so I just wanted to play safe in the early game because I knew that we have a higher power spike in the later phase. 
important is your mid lane coach in Leaf Sandbox. So what kind of advice did he give you? You know, he taught me a lot of, about the playstyle and also he gi he's giving me a lot of details, something that I always miss and don't know. Having such a legendary former player as a personal coach would help a lot. And I heard that you actually want to play 1v1 against him. Is that because he's so strict? No, because he's so legendary. I always wa wanted to play against him in the LCK. Then any message over to Coach Pawn? His birthday was yesterday, so I promised him. He, he actually asked me to give him a birthday present as a victory today, so I think I made it happen. And congratulations on your birthday. And also, thank you for all your lessons and coachings. I actually didn't send him any birthday wishes, but... I know I'm late, but happy birthday. <laughs> and another birthday wish from Subin as well for Pawn. And your next opponent is Hana Life is Sports. What's your mindset heading into that match? We have a very long way to go. We're going to practice hard in order to get another win in that match. And close there. Is there any message you would like to send to the fans? Thank you for all the support. And, and if you guys come back next time, I will make sure to win that match as well. And this will be the end of the interview from Closer Eyes from Leave Sandbox and back to the analyst desk. Thank you.